item 6.12 r1 pm presentation and consideration of the housing work plan and proposed lake county housing trust fund Ms. judd good afternoon board and staff um, thank you so much for hearing my work plan today i look forward to any input that you may have um, first there are basically four components of my work plan no problem your work plan disappeared. There we go. Uh, next slide. Uh, the creation of the housing action plan and implementation steps is the first um, component, and then the local housing trust fund and board of trustees. Um, and then additionally, the pro housing designation for Lake County. Um, and then essentially, um, the partnering with the local organizations and tribal communities and nonprofit organizations to have those conversations that are so important to have a meaningful um, housing plan. Next slide. Uh, the housing action and implementation plan is one of the key components that I would like to um, begin work on as soon as possible given the board's approval. Um, this would include these tasks that are outlined up here, um, stakeholder and community engagement, analysis of current conditions, uh, gaps analysis, final determination of housing goals, identification of sites for housing, and uh, very importantly, the action steps for a comprehensive manual that give all of the steps and outline and the resources to make that happen. Um, the community stakeholder and organization is so essential for us to be able to get feedback and insight from the community and stakeholders um, so that we can share ideas and experiences and generate real solutions. Next slide. Um, as part of this plan, we will also be looking at analysis of current conditions. Before we can move forward, we have to see where we're at um, and look at all the different facets regarding housing. Uh, next in this process, we'll be looking at analysis of gaps and trends. It's so important just to see where we're at, where those gaps are and where we would like to be. Uh, next is, of course, after we have this, is to take those housing goals and look at things like how are we going to increase our supply of housing in this community. Uh, rehabilitation, uh, preservation of his existing housing supply, um, another aspect of this is something I have heard termed as pre-covery. Uh, essentially, in this area, we've had so many natural disasters. Let's get ahead of that curve, be proactive, and think of how we can do better for housing. Uh, and next, yeah, that's okay. Um, <laughs> the other things down there were increasing housing, housing equity and accessibility and supporting opportunities to obtain substantial home ownership. Uh, next in this housing action plan and implementation is the identification of sites for housing development um, and all of the aspects that we would need in order to move forward. Okay, now next we'll move into the housing trust fund. This is another aspect that we would like to implement. Um, the role of the housing trust fund is uh, primarily, uh, go ahead and do the next slide, thank you. Uh, to look at gap financing. Um, it will make many of the projects that have that gap between being feasible and coming to fruition. Um, it is, has been touted as something that is very flexible as a source of funding, um, and it is a way that we can look for a way to preserve existing affordable housing, workforce housing, including hospitality, medical, and educational employers. Um, one of the other things I wanted to add is the Housing Trust Fund is many, it has all of these wonderful things to it, but one of the important things that it says to developers is we're open for business. Uh, 
benefits of the housing trust fund, um, some of this is restated, consistency, dedicated revenue streams, uh, leverage so that we can attract um, additional affordable housing projects and other type, all full spectrum of the housing. Uh, it allows for flexibility for agencies to focus their housing trust fund to meet the highest priority for whatever the board may deem. Um, economic multiplier, so if we're able to um, provide more housing, hopefully we can also generate uh, a positive impact on the local economy. Financing of the, the trust fund is also another aspect. There are many ways that we can uh, look into having this be a um, continuous revenue stream for the housing trust fund, um, as shown here. For next step, for next steps, um, we the first thing would be to create a seven to nine member board of trustees uh, with representatives from the county, board of supervisors, city council, tribes, and other interested parties. Um, then, of course, to identify dedicated sources of revenue uh, that are not dependent uh, solely on appropriations, implement a prioritization system to ensure that key program goals are met. And then lastly, to determine funding requirements for competitive valuation um, and preferences and set-asides. Thank you. Next in the presentation is the pro-housing designation. Um, this is something that we would like to pursue um, and I think that it will be more and more important over time, but it does allow us to have um, a competitive edge. And this is something that um, myself and Maria Turner would like to um, collaboratively work together between our departments. Um, <clears throat> Pro-housing designation, in order to obtain it, you must obtain 30 points across the four categories. Uh, favorable zoning and land use, acceleration of housing production timeframes, reduction of construction and development costs, and providing financial subsidies. The pro-housing designation program uh, provides incentives to cities and counties in the form of additional points and other preference in the scoring of competitive housing, community development, and infrastructure. Um, and so these will be very beneficial for um, our county in order to pursue our housing goals. And lastly, um, and certainly not least, um, it's so important for us to build partnerships in our community. Um, I think that those conversations so that we're not in separate silos and being able to connect and make those um, goals so that we can work together to improve our housing in Lake County is so important. And here I have a work plan uh, timeline. Um, some of this, as you might notice, um, we do not have the, I do not have the uh, pro-housing designation on here. Um, however, kind of more focusing on the housing action plan and implementation initially. And that concludes uh, the work plan presentation. And I'm open to any comments or feedbacks that you may have. Thank you very much for your presentation and all the attached material. Looks like we have a comment or a question from Supervisor Paiska. <clears throat> Thank you for this presentation. We've been waiting a long time for this, and so I'm really glad you're here. I'm really glad we're getting started on this. We've done some investments in the budgeting over the past couple of years to prepare for this, and um, and I'm sorry I didn't ask you this before. Um, we did put we did um, allocate two million dollars for the housing trust fund, mm -hmm. and I'm just wondering if that's enough. Is that enough to get us started? I feel like there's a pretty dramatic answer over here, but that's what I thought. Um, thank you for asking that. Um, I think one of the things that we're going to look for is doing that um, with HCD is doing a housing trust fund match. And so obviously the more funding that we have, I mean, being able to essentially double that up to $5 million is pretty key and we can make that much more of an impact on what we're trying to do and our housing goals. So um, obviously, the more funding that we have available, the more we can bring things to fruition. Great. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? 
Supervisor Simon? No, I think the only one, I thought a great lift, a list of nonprofit agencies, community partners. So you have Hammers for Hope on here, done a lot of great work, but also is Habitat for Humanity. We've got to throw that on the list. Okay. They're here in Lake County, too, doing great work. Absolutely. So, Thank you. Um, you know, just to add them on there also. Mm -hmm. But I thought everything else was touched on very well. And, yeah, excited to have this uh, trust fund or the housing, having someone that we can speak to directly as we're moving forward with those goals. And I'm going to have an offline conversation because I know there's a lot of laws going into effect mm -hmm. uh, this year, 2024, to expedite housing. Just want to understand a little bit more of those and how it can affect us here in Lake County in a positive manner uh, to help us move forward with it because I know... <clears throat> At least in my district, uh, Valley Oaks, there's a big housing project that is potentially, uh, you know, has an opportunity to go in down there. But, you know, we, we really got to get it lined out and see how we can do things. So I think there's real opportunity all the way around the county. It's great to see that Collier project happening mm -hmm. uh, over on the North Shore. And we just want to see a bunch more of that as we're moving through the process. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. And I am very excited to be here. And um, I look forward to making a difference with the housing. Um, and I, in reviewing some of those laws, I was happy to see that there are, it seems like a focus on trying to make things more streamlined and housing friendly so that we can actually make some progress. Definitely struggles throughout the state with some of that. Mm -hmm. Supervisor Green. Yeah, thank you. Just a couple, uh, couple questions. So I, I see the cities are involved here, but are, are you aware whether either, either city is currently drafting a uh, analogous work plan uh, on, on their levels? And the related question, I, I see a potential board of trustees that kind of infers that some support, sort of JPA would be formed. So are, are, we, uh, are we staying in our various city and county lanes at this point in this iteration of the housing or plan, or are you already seeing that we're going to be uh, moving toward a more of a JPA? For the uh, Board of Trustees, I, I did not see that as a JPA. Um, I, I don't know that it necessarily needs to be, but I can research that and look into that further. Um, as far as the work plans, I definitely want to take into consideration the city's work plans. And I have reached out to um, both of the Clear Lake and Lakeport um, to try to get conversations going there. I met with Alan Flora um, and kind of heard what, what he has going on over there in, in Clear Lake. Okay, so if the original, uh, if your original goal then, what if it wasn't a JPA, what is that vision for a board of trustees, like a separate management function for the trust fund? Um, or would not the county itself retain primary authority over? Uh, the board of trustees, I think, would be compromised of the different um, entities um, as we can get feedback on that. Um, but I think it's important because it helps with the prioritization. Um, I was looking at some examples um, in different places like the city of Ukiah and other places that have a housing trust fund. So, again, this is something that we, is in the preliminary stages, and we can look at that. Okay. I guess I distinguish because I, I'm kind of seeing this as a governance. That's how I normally use that term. You may be pitching an advisory board or commission or something like that that would guide the funding but wouldn't govern it. So gotcha. okay. I look forward to hearing uh, that, that progress. Thank you. Thank you. Any further comments or questions? So I appreciate this, and one of the things that I am going to state that I really appreciate is the um, open perspective of housing in general, no matter what jurisdiction we're speaking of. We have to work together with our cities and our tribes to say, Housing can be here. What can we do to help you with getting housing there? Housing can be in Lake County. Housing can be in the cities. Housing in general is going to help us. We need to deal with the fact that most of our homes are probably averaging 1980, maybe 1990, depending on the location around uh, the county. Uh, finding a newly built home is a rare case in Lake County, unless you happen to be a rebuild from a fire. Um, I know that I just submitted some stuff. I hope it's reached you. I know I gave it to uh, Susan Parker. Um, I was concerned about our fees, and I'm glad that the pro-housing um, status would review at looking how to decrease construction costs and developer fees, because um, it, it, it's hard for me to stomach what percentage of the entire construction goes to fees versus what the actual value of the house is. Um, and so, that's 
I think our number one difficulty is you can build the same house here that you would build in Sonoma County, but because of the difference in geography, there's a difference of 150 to 200,000, if not more, for the exact same house, which leads developers to not take great interest in wanting to work here. So we have to figure out something, and it's gonna be all of us figuring out what's our 10, 20 year long-term goal and benefit of doing this mm -hmm. versus continuing to have blinders on the side of our faces to see this is working for my budget and this is working for me uh, versus everyone has so many uh, fees that are impacting the potential for new housing to be developed. Uh, so I'm excited about the work that you're doing. I'm looking forward to finding out what avenues we're going to be taking, what opportunities we have. Um, I think it's such an important part of our governor's uh, policy right now is focus on homelessness but focusing on housing because both of them are absolutely correlated. Uh, we have to figure out something, and so I think you're here at the right time with the right opportunity, and uh, appreciate uh, what you're looking at and the conversations you're already having. Thank you so much. I agree with you on, on your sentiments there, and I think for all of us to come together as a community, we're gonna generate better ideas and work together in a way we haven't done before, hopefully think outside the box, be creative, and um, really get, have those meaningful action steps. Absolutely. Super well, impressive. and piggybacking on what you just said, it, traditionally in a lot of the areas in our county, homes have been built one at a time. And so we've been missing out on that economies of scale because we have not been able to attract the developers. Mm -hmm. And so having those incentives for low, ha low workforce housing, moderate income housing, and then having more options for our seniors so that we have the availability of housing for people to get their starter home and then upgrade, and then when they're up to empty nesters, downgrade. So we've got a full housing supply for everybody. Absolutely. There's nothing further from the board. Let's go ahead and open it up for public comment. Anybody in the chamber or Zoom room, please raise your hand in the Zoom room. Seeing none, I'll bring it back to the board, but I believe this was just a presentation. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you so much. Thank you very Thank much. You. You're welcome.